Hey everybody, this is Steve Warren. And in today's video, I wanna show you how you can use the Power Platform to create a mobile app on your phone to easily do object detection. So the setup is gonna be that we're gonna have a Power App Canvas app to be the front end, which is the app on the phone. We're then gonna call Power Automate, which is then in turn going to call Azure for Government Cognitive Services to do object detection of whatever the photo is that we've taken with our camera. And I think this is a really cool example to kind of highlight the integration of our Power Platform with other services in our Microsoft Cloud. All of this works in Azure for Government and in our Office 365 GCC High environment, which is our FedRAMP High compliant government cloud. I'm also gonna to put together a sample on GitHub that you can download so that you can actually use this sample in your own environment to play with it as well. So we're gonna first walk through how this app works on the phone. I'm then gonna show you how to actually get that installed on in your environment by downloading from GitHub and getting that set up. And then along the way, I'll walk through a couple of the ways that this is set up. So just to kind of give you some ideas of how you could build this on your own. So here's the setup. I've got Power Apps installed on my phone. I'm already connected to my environment. I'm gonna launch Power Apps. We can see that we have this computer vision canvas app. I'm gonna run that. And now what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna show me what my camera sees on my phone. Now I've also already given this access to have access to my uh, camera on my phone. And then this drop down here, it tells me which camera do I want? In this case, I wanna use the front camera. So now we can see what's showing up on the front of my camera. I'm gonna now look at the camera, I'm gonna smile. And then what we see now is that that image was saved uh, below with the captured image title. I can click on analyze photo. And what this is gonna do now is it's actually going to run that photo against Azure Cognitive Services and then describe automatically for me what it's seen in this image. In this case, we see that it's seen a man smiling for the camera. So I think it did a pretty good job there. Now, I think this is a really cool example of how to use Power Apps to create a mobile application really quickly and deploy those to your users, and then also take advantage of some of our really amazing AI services inside of Microsoft as well. So what I just showed you is the out-of-the-box Azure Cognitive Services computer vision. So that's without any training required, that's what you get out of the box. Now, I was also kind of curious, what are the other things inside of my house that I could do to detect automatically with that service? Is I actually took a picture of my dog on his couch and it actually came back with a description of saying a dog sleeping on a couch. So once again, I think this is doing a really amazing job for having no training, no previous history of what I'm about to take a photo of, and yet it's able to describe that pretty well. If you have something specific to your business that you want to train over time, we also have those models available in Azure for Government as well. And you can absolutely take advantage of that inside of the Power Platform as well. But I wanted to just put this out there to show you a really easy way of something that you can build on your phone and use AI really quickly with that. So what we're looking at right now is this is the Power Apps Editor using the application that I just showed using my phone. Now, I wanna walk through just a couple of the basic controls of how this app is set up. The first thing that we're seeing here is a basic camera control. So this shows you whatever the camera that you've selected, it shows you the currently um, displayed image. So in this case, we can see me. Now, I also have a drop down here where I'm specifying that I wanna see all of the available devices. So if there are other cameras that you have set up on your machine, this is how you would surface those. And then I wanna preview this really quickly. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm just gonna put my hand in front of the camera and we're gonna take a picture of that. And then we're gonna analyze that photo. And so we can see that we got a close up of hand, which is correct. Now, I wanna walk through how does that work from a Power Apps perspective. So on this button here, I've got a function to find that when that button is clicked, we're going to call the uh, Power Automate Flow, which I'll show shortly. We're gonna run that, and then we're just gonna pass whatever the selected image was in this application. And then for the response, I'm actually saving what the response is coming back from Power Automate so that I can display that. In this case, the response is right here, a close up of a hand but that could be anything, but that's kind of the, the process of how do you call Power Automate from Power Apps? How do you get a response back? And then how do you display that on the application? So now what we're looking at here is the Power Automate flow that we're calling from the Power Apps application. So in here, I just wanna kind of show a high level of how this flow works. The very first thing is a trigger for Power Apps. This means that a Power Apps is calling this Power Automate flow to initiate that. I have a couple other things where I'm parsing some variables. So I'm just processing whatever the incoming image is. In this case, it's base 64. I'm gonna then remove some of the information in front of that uh, variable. 
And then from there, what I need to do is I need to construct a JSON request that isn't of the right format to go to Azure's Cognitive Services Computer Vision API. And then we have a built-in action that's inside of Power Automate that you can use to call the analyze image function. And so from here, what I'm doing is I'm saying that the image source is content, meaning we're gonna give it the content of the image we wanna process. In that case, it's gonna be one of the variables that we've set up ahead of time, processing in that photo that was sent from Power Apps. And then when we get a response, we'll then process the output of that because there's actually a number of things you get as the response from the analyze image step. And then the last part of that is then to respond back to the Power Apps application. In this case, we're gonna give it the first image caption there. Now, what I wanna do next is I wanna walk through some of the other samples that I've processed with Power Automate so you can see what some of the other information is that comes back from Cognitive Services. So we're gonna to go to the run history and I wanna show a previous example of one of the ones where I took a photo on my phone of my dog on a couch. So if we look at the results of the analyze image step, we can see a couple of things here. First, we have the caption, which is what I'm displaying in the Power App application, a dog sleeping on a couch, and it actually has a confidence score of about 88%, which is pretty cool. There's also some tags that it associates with the image. So indoor, dog, sitting, laying. And then there's also um, some other tags here that show up. So indoor with a confidence of 98%, which is pretty high. Uh, carnivore, which is actually pretty interesting. So my dog is a carnivore, I guess. And then also dog is another tag here with another confidence there as well. So that kind of just shows you a little bit of under the covers of how the, the Cognitive Services Computer Vision API service works. So I'll put a link of this in my video as well, but this is on GitHub. I've documented how you can download this sample and then how you can run with this in your own environment. So if you follow the steps, it should be pretty straightforward. But when you scroll down here a little bit, you'll find that there's a link to download the solution file. From there, what you can do is you can then import that into your own Power Platform environment and then get started and actually use the app on your phone. So hopefully this video gave you some ideas of how you could use Power Platform in conjunction with Azure for Government. Now the demo that I showed is using Azure for Government and Office 365 GCC High, which is our FedRAMP High compliant cloud. But this demo would also work in Azure Commercial as well. If you have any questions about the video, please feel free to put them in the comments below. If you have any ideas of things you would like to see in the future, please also put them in the comments below and I'll take a look at them as well.